Hi folks and welcome to my new YouTube series, Sales from the Sofa, where I'll show you what uh, a selection of items that I've just picked um, from storage that I've sold in the last day or so, uh, and are about to get shipped out. Um, for those who are new to the channel, my name's Andrew, um, I run the Money Mental UK channel. Uh, it's a channel dedicated to money and mental health. Uh, I'm a part-time re eBay reseller and I'm a mental health advocate. Um, this sales from the sofa will follow sort of my standard sales report format in that I'll show you what I picked up, uh, I'll tell you what I paid for it, I'll give you a rough indication of any profit that I'm going to make on it as well, and it might give you some ideas, sort of stuff to look out for when you're um, sourcing yourself. So, uh, first item, this is in no particular order, is Friends Primark um, Fridge Magnets, cost a pound, um, sold for 5 50 these will cost about £1.32 to ship. After fees, etc., probably only a pound or so's profit. But I've got loads of these, so it's a multi quantity listing. Um, didn't take long to list, and as I say, they, um, they're selling quite sort of regularly for a nice sort of profit. So, the overall listing itself will bring in a, a good, good return. Um, we've got a copy of Driver Free on PS2. Uh, that cost me 10p. That sold for 4.99 plus shipping abroad. So I think I charged 4.50 for shipping. So £9.49 for that. Um, same with this copy of Gun on PS2. Again, 10p into 4.99 plus shipping abroad. So that's gone for uh, £9.49 in all. Um, profit on both of these. We're probably looking at about sort of three pound each, roughly. Um, three pound four pound maybe two and three and four anyway copy of dungeon keeper 2 on pc cd rom that cost me 10p ignore the 25p sticker on it um that sold for four pounds um we're in the uk so i'll make a couple of pound profit on that but again got quite a few copies of this so a nice little multi-quantity listing i've got going on there uh command and conquer general uh, zero hour expansion pack um i think this cost me a pound sold for 7.99 plus shipping abroad um 7.99 plus shipping or 8.99 could have even been 8.99 plus shipping abroad um i'll say 7.99 though uh from a pound again i've made about three four pound profit on that um so yeah happy enough with that s dawn of war complete collection cost me a pound and it sold for 11 within the uk uh probably about five six pound profit um, this copy of Settlers 6 cost me 10p again um, and it sold for £4, so a couple of pound profit there. This Colin McRae Rally Free, ignore the £3 sticker on it, that's just to remind me what I sold it for, which was £3. Because um, I kept forgetting on this one. This one I think cost me 20p, um, so I've made a small profit, about £1.50 or so, not massive. Um, Grand Theft Auto 4 and Xbox 360, again this cost me 10p, um, this has sold for £4 plus shipping abroad, so £8.50 in all, um, again about three, three odd pound profit on that. Far Cry, uh, sold out edition, cost me 10p, sold for 2 99 so about £1.50 profit after shipping. Um, this Stranger Things ceramic mug um, cost me two pounds, brand new and sealed. Um, I just accepted an offer on it. Uh, I sent out. I've had it listed for oh, nearly a year. This has been listed for, um, so I finally got rid of it for eight pounds, including shipping. So I've made probably what fifty p profit on that, maybe a pound, but uh, better than nothing. Um, Copy of FIFA Street 2, cost me 10p, that's just sold for 4 99 plus 4 50 shipping abroad, so again, three four pound profit on that. Um, and then finally, this um, Bluetooth hands-free handset, uh, this cost me, um, I think, £20, and I've sold it on an offer of 35 plus £10 shipping, so £45 in all. Um, so not a not massive profit in that from twenty pounds, should clear a tenner or so. Um when I bought it it was worth ninety pounds. 
um, but it took me a few weeks to list it by which time uh, a new model had come out and the prices on these had um, sort of gone down substantially so it should have been a £90 sale but I was happy to take 35 plus shipping for it in the end uh, and see a small bit of profit and then final item again another 10p pickup um, I just put it in the jiffy bag so I wanted to make sure it went large letter um, so I put it through my size guide a uh, copy of One Tree Hill season five cost me ten p, um, sold for three ninety nine. Should make about one pound fifty profit on that. So, not massive individual profits, but you add it all together, and there's sort of over a hundred quid sort of profit there from um, sales. Oh, that wasn't the last item either. There's one more. Uh, because I am the greatest clothing seller ever, I've also sold this Lambretta um, denim jacket. Try and get the brand in there, Lambretta. That cost me five pounds in a charity shop, and I've sold that for twenty four ninety nine free shipping. Um, so yeah, nice sort of fifteen pound. Well, not not quite fifty, probably about twelve pound sort of profit on that after fees and postage costs, etc. So yeah, really pleased with that sale as well. So yeah, should be um hundred pound ish worth of profit there from uh sort of yesterday's sales. So not a bad little return. I have got one item I've sold, which is a book that I've sold for three ninety nine, which um, I cannot find for love nor money anywhere. But uh, there is another copy in exactly the same condition for sale for two pound on eBay. So I may order that and ship that to the customer instead. Um, not the best business practice, but sometimes you've got to do it when you can't find things. I've got another bit of time to um, to decide. Um, I can't see the other copy selling. Um, to be honest i was amazed this one did um so yeah hopefully i'll i'll locate that in the next um sort of few minutes or so if not i'll just drop ship to the customer um again not the best business technique you, you need to have a good inventory system in place etc but with me moving everything into my garage and now moving stuff out of the garage into the cow shed it's inevitable that one or two small items will sort of disappear and then turn up a few days after they've sold it just it happens uh once everything's in the cow shed i will go do a full inventory and storage sort of check and hopefully um uh, supply stock check stock check so hopefully that kind of issue will be uh, a problem of the past but anyway thanks for watching folks and i'll see you on the next episode of sales from the sofa bye for now